There is a big difference between fashion and style, and today we meet a woman who truly has a style of her own. From cool kid to North London it girl, today we go inside the wardrobe of none other than Daisy Lowe. This is Style Pit Stop. Oh, she's got cakes. Good Lord. <laughs> Way! There she is. I got you some cupcakes. Oh, my goodness. What do we have here? Oh, um, my word. Some serious cupcakes. I think it's their favourite selection. <laughs> Has that influenced your style then? Not only just the rebellion, but the music that you listen to? Well, my style. Mm, I don't know. I definitely had like my moment with juicy couture tracksuits and like big hoop earrings ah, and loads of dunks. And, and a pair stuff. of a pair of Uggs. And yeah, a juicy no, couture. no Uggs, no Uggs. No judgment. Juicy. I know that you've owned no, a pair. But, yeah, I definitely owned a pair. Exactly. Um, Rhinestone. But, but, pink. No. Uh, <laughs> No, because that was before I came around when right. I was rocking the juicy. That was when J Lo was wearing them. Oh, right. And my parents used to call me Day Glow. Brilliant. <laughs> I think we're here. Yeah, we're here. We're walking towards it's Brown. Like party, yeah, it's the holy it? grail for, for so British good. girls, isn't yeah. it? What is it so about Stella good. that's so good? Because it's really simple, cut really well, really beautiful materials. And also, I love that she loves animals. And so, <laughs> yeah. doesn't, doesn't hurt them in. Oh, those wide leg trousers, yes, please. So you're never going to feel guilty wearing a piece by Stella, right? No, which is always lovely. OK, uh, now, I believe that you've bought a few bits with you, and yeah. I'm really, really itching to find out what they are. <laughs> so uh, should we run upstairs and have a look? Yeah, sweet. After you. Cool. This. Look at this. Nice. Oh, so good. Okay, uh, now I've got to start with the treaders on the floor because oh, yeah. um, I'm a massive fan of footwear, as you know. Yeah. I live for shoes. Yeah. I know you've perused my Instagram yes. and seen how, how many pictures of shoes I take. Oh, yes. Um, these big old boots here, I take it you're a fan <laughs> yeah. of them, otherwise yeah. they wouldn't be Otherwise they wouldn't be that battered as well. I bought them a couple of years ago just before I went to Brazil and wore them on the beach in Rio, wore them on the beach in Tel Aviv. Hang on a second, I think you're the only woman <laughs> I know that will wear army boots yeah. on the beach. And they also what? have their fleece line work? too, which is hilarious. These are them. So I <laughs> I, um, I went to Miami for New Year's and was walking around on the beach with my bikini and these on. And all of the guys at Sarah House that work there were like, it's a good touch. It's like, <laughs> You're my type of man then. <laughs> so that must be the hottest thing in the world. No, yeah. they're not. I don't know. My feet don't get that hot. Yeah, yeah but they're just yeah. so good. I just think they look, they look really good. Okay. Sick. I brought, this is hilarious and Brilliant. So, Whoa. this is a latex ball gown. <laughs> no kidding, look at that, that is awesome. It's amazing, right? Is that talcum powder on the inside, uh, I can yeah. see? Yeah, oh yeah. I was making it. a joke, did you actually use, literally have to you use have talcum to, powder? Yeah, of course. It? And the designer is a guy called William Wilde, and okay. he's a, m a massively amazing, um, amazing, amazing human being. Um, I love this thing, it feels so good. Um, and I did a photo shoot with, actually with Damien and Avi, okay. um, for a really lovely man called Derek Santini, who... He's one of my favourite photographers. He's such an amazing and photographer. he does music videos as and well, album covers. And he also takes amazing um, shots in a light box. And so he was doing an exhibition and asked me to do it. So I ended up wearing this in baby pink. So I ended up doing William's show and always went on about how much I loved that dress. Yeah. And um, I got back from a trip in December and just had this package arrive for me. And he just said, oh, I just wanted to see how this dress looked um, in this color. And I knew that you loved the dress, so I thought you'd be the perfect woman for it. And That's I just thought incredible. it was so sweet. So this was, yeah, the first time I ever spent a lot of money on an item of clothing. Um, so I thought it was good to bring this. But yeah. I wore it to the GQ Awards. And um, and then I, I, I got the GQ cover after that. So thanks, dress. Thanks, Gareth. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, Mr. Pew. But I used it to, to justify me buying the Pew. I used to do my housework in it. I was like, I'm just no. going to clean and cook in it. I had to wear it for at least five minutes Are every day. No, because I was like, it's so much money to drop <laughs> on a dress. I can't, I have to appreciate it and value it in uh, and, and use it every day. Because By felt, hoovering in it? No, but dusting and, and, <laughs> and arranging and... <laughs> I'm such an OCD freak as yeah, well. Yeah, don't kidding. Uh, <laughs> well, look, I'm so glad that you've brought some stuff with you because, you know, there's nothing better than finding the history behind uh, someone's wardrobe and also the things that are really important yeah. to them. So, yeah, it's, it's been amazing. And it's been really cool hanging out yeah, with you. Yeah, it's been lovely hanging out with you. Uh, Daisy, it's been an absolute yeah, pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much.
So there you have it, that's another style pit stop in the can. And not only have we learned about Daisy Lowe's favorite cupcake shop, we have also learned that she likes to clean her house in pretty extravagant clothing. Go on, Daisy. Uh, and I can confirm, just in case you missed it, that it's not sweaty jogging bottoms just like my mum. Sorry, mum, it's, it's the truth. Anyhow, uh, we'll see you next time for another window into someone that you loves fashions and the things that they love too. We'll see you soon. Join us next time on Style Pit Stop when we hang out with Saturday Night Telly's Mr. Stylish.